Let's oh, Tracy's here. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Okay, bad <laughs> joke. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's talk about um, what's going on. Once I can get this booted up here, because uh -huh. I want to yes. see who's commenting. But the Southwest Airlines story. So, Tracy, you know, you weren't with us yesterday. Yeah. We talked about it, but there have been some updates. We do know that the woman who was a Wells Fargo employee mm -hmm. who was partially sucked out of is the plane. Is that the woman that had the heart attack? The woman, well, well the, they, they the say engine blunt exploded. force trauma is what, is what they say. The, is the engine the exploded mid-flight, and that is when she was in, because shrapnel from the engine hit the glass that she was, or the window that she was yeah. sitting next to completely went through half of her body from my understanding mm -hmm. was sucked out of the plane two passengers were able to it was uh, a cowboy and a doctor get two gentlemen pulled Thank her God. out and then there was a nurse on board a, a woman who gave her CPR but uh -huh. did not save her life was unable to save her life so that woman died and it, the plane was going from New York to Texas but they had to make an emergency landing in Philadelphia wow. luckily the female pilot uh, was able to land the, the plane and everything was fine. One mm -hmm. person again dead. Um, but the, everyone was wondering yesterday, well, she must have not had her seatbelt on. That yeah, was probably was the cause of death here in addition mm -hmm. to being halfway sucked out of a plane. Uh -huh. um, she did have her seatbelt on, so they have confirmed that. Mm -hmm. And so we went into a deeper explanation. You can go to abc10.com to read the full story about which part of the aircraft is mm -hmm. safe safe S mm -hmm. to to ride in and does that change your your ways of when you go and you we all do this right we go yeah. and we book our flight and then mm -hmm. you get to pick your seat sometimes mm -hmm. southwest mm -hmm. you do and sometimes it, it, southwest you get to pick your seat you do you yeah go, you guys loading is groups right mm -hmm. as groups though right I think you just it's check in you don't get to yeah. actually it's pick. not assigned you're it's kind not of in assigned. a zone there you go you so when you go on you, you get to first pick your first seat hey but with kids we get we get on board a little bit early that's true kids dude I see kids pushing it they say six and under I'm looking at like 12 year olds and they're like come on let's go and I'm like no 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 hold <laughs> on a second kids mine are all part of the family yeah <laughs> Seriously. Uh, have you ever tried to muscle them and try to, between a family? It's oh, the worst trying yeah. to load onto a plane. And when you have to deplane, it's even worse. Yeah. But let's keep talking <laughs> about this story. So this viral photo goes uh -huh. obviously viral. Right. Yeah. And so it's a picture. And do we have it up right now? If we can go ahead and, and pull that up. So here mm -hmm. it is. And you see, and the gentleman right here on the bottom left is the guy who took the picture. It looks like he's taking a selfie with all the people How having their, their safety equipment over their, their mouths, right? Mm -hmm. So the masks. You see some people, actually every person that I can see clearly here, has the mask over just their mouth. Mm -hmm. What we're learning is that those masks oh. should be over your nose and your mouth. Mm -hmm. And so this brought up the question this morning, are we not as prepared as we may think yeah. if something like this should have happened? Mm -hmm. Because maybe we aren't listening, we aren't, we're distracted by our phones, by loading, yeah. by buckling, that we're just ignoring the flight attendants mm -hmm. when they're trying to educate us. So the question that we had this morning during, AB, uh, during Morning Blend was do you listen to the flight attendants? Mm -hmm. What we should have said is do you always listen? Because about 60% at one point mm -hmm. were saying, yes, we listen to the flight attendant. But are you listening? Are you, you mm -hmm. hearing, listening, no, and then listening. able to practice what they preach? Mm -hmm. And I would comfortably say no. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think, I, I would have put that mask just over my mouth as well, not knowing. Well, I, I, first of all, I, I'm a little bit cautious about this story because okay. I feel like there's a little bit of uh, victim blaming going on here. Oh, I mean, okay. let's just be honest. These people think that they, many ending. of them are thinking this may be it. Sure. So even if they have a vague recollection of how to do the oxygen uh -huh, mask uh -huh. and the rules and all, and the cards right in front of the seat, that's not the priority. The priority. But if you're taking a selfie. I understand that, but but let's just say shifted. that person has a loved one and uh, they they want some memory of what happened to them. What were they? Sure. What, mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. They, so, so it may not, it, this isn't for likes. This is not for social media popularity. Per, I'm just going to assume that this person is thinking this may be it. Okay. And you, know, you don't know what you're going to do. Some people will try and text their loved one, write something down. Yes. Who really knows? I mean, yeah. what would you do if you found out? Oh, my gosh. You know, that part of the airplane blows off. Someone's getting sucked out and getting pulled back in. And to your and point. And they say, we're going to make an mm -hmm. emergency landing. Right. <clears throat> you know what? We cannot judge any of these people it's in that moment. It's not about them. It's what we can learn from this. I understand. And that's the positive, is that this was negative, so what can we do with the positive? Yeah. But, so uh, that's just my concern about it going into So it. do you listen to the flight attendants uh, I, when you're putting the masks on, when they put the masks on? I answered it this morning. I would say sometimes. The thing is, is that it's the same speech. I've probably been on 
a hundred flights in my lifetime. Yeah. So I know the rules and then with little ones are even more conscious of mm -hmm. the extra little things. You can't sit in an exit row, you put it on yourself before the kids. Yeah, and and you're a little bit more aware yes. of what you would do just because when we think about our own safety, we kind of put it on the back burner, but when you're responsible for somebody else's. else's, it all of a sudden, you know, it jumps up a bunch of ranks. when you hear a story like this to go, oh, right. wow, this right. could Recent have actually happened. In 2016, there was another engine issue. Shrapnel mm -hmm. didn't right. go right through a window. But I would say that I, I yes, gone the same thing. I've gone on hundreds of flights mm -hmm. as well. But I don't ever recall <coughs> listening enough mm -hmm. to know that the mask should go over the nose and the mouth. When right. you ask me that just point, point blank, I go, I don't know. It's a good question. I think, you know what the problem is? First off, you always look at the person next to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, you see how they put it on, and that's how you put it on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's probably how most of it happens. Effect, Second, yeah. how many times have you have they given you one and actually had you do a reenact? Mm. Right. You know, when you're there, you have the seatbelt, you can put it on. If you actually gave me a mask and, and had me put it on one and I watched through. you, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. would probably be more inclined to remember the proper mm. way to do it. So then does this spark the conversation? Do we need I to think have... They, there should be better training, because I've samples. never touched one. Right. I've never had one in my hand. That's I've never true. So maybe they release them and then, but then at that point, they yeah. maybe have you to have a dummy up. one in the bag or in the back and they just actually show you that part. But if I don't actively do it, mm -hmm. I'm less inclined to remember it. And okay. there's, I think there's another thing too. You have to ask the why, right? So the why in this is why would these come down? You're in an airplane. These cabins are pressurized. Outside, you're at maybe 33,000 mm -hmm. feet. It's pressurized to about 8,000 feet. Yeah. Uh, the temperature inside is comfortable, 60s, 70s. I'm, I don't know the exact temperature, but sure. we don't. it depends on how you feel. It's comfortable. It's normal. Mm -hmm. But just outside of that window, it might be 50 degrees below zero. Right. So, there, I mean, you're in a little bubble. And the second that you lose pressure, you're going to notice that there's not as much much oxygen. This is what would be breathe. the equivalent uh, <clears throat> at being above the, the uh, peak of Mount Everest, above the summit. So that's number one. You don't mm -hmm. have that much air. If there's if there's smoke in the cabin, that you're tr they're trying to get you clean oxygen versus mm -hmm. the smoke particles. So some of this, I'm just trying to defend the passengers here okay. for a second, is that <laughs> some of this if it's just on their mouth, they may feel with what's going in and what's going out, that's enough oxygen. They're, they're uh. more comfortable. Or if there were smoke, probably they would realize, I'm breathing in smoke through my nose. It needs to go all the way over. I mean, I think depending on the situation, right. some of those things just may be apparent to oh, you in the moment. What about the size of the cup? Normally there's an indentation well, yeah. for the nose, a mm -hmm. cutout for the nose. If it had that, I would have been more inclined to put it over my nose. Those are just round, so I, just, I think people I just thought know. the mouth. And right. how would a nose even fit in there? Yeah. I'm looking at this I gentleman to the far right. right. It, yeah. it looks like it goes from his chin mm -hmm. to the top of his nose. I think nose it's like more it so perfect. how it's made. If there was just a little bit more of a cutoff of the nose, you people would know immediately it's supposed to go over the nose and cup the mouth as well. And how long has right. this design been around? Oh, I mean, wow. the, again, well, the, right. a digital age, we see a picture mm -hmm. from a moment in time, right. a moment when all of this was going down, and you're right, all of these people thinking, is this my last breath? Are you writing a note? Right. I, had, I heard people were... Uh, purchasing the in-flight Wi-Fi because you know when you're in your right. last moments, it doesn't matter how much you spend. <laughs> These people right. are buying the Wi-Fi oh. to make phone calls oh, and text that. messages. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows what's going on? Okay, let's get out of the fact that maybe they didn't put it over their nose. But, but I think this Tracy, picture could help change the you're way. You're right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. But Tracy, you have a point. I mean, okay, they look kind of cheap. They do. Let's be honest. We've seen medical dramas, or maybe yeah. you've had a medical incident yourself, or a grandparent, mm -hmm. or God forbid, a close family member, or a child, or something. They have what you're talking yeah. about, the full thing. So there's no, there's no wiggle room. There's you know no exactly this fits over on. everything exactly, and that mm -hmm. just looks like it's just a little bit. It's small. It's, there's not a lot of material to it. Maybe they do that for weight savings because it costs gas to oh, more I things. Can see that. I mean, I don't. I'm speculating here. Remember, right. I'm the weather guy. So I'm going to speculate <laughs> here, but th it, it, maybe there's more that maybe the passengers could do more, maybe the airlines could do more, right? Because okay, so it's all about saving lives in, in an incident like this. In a, yes, in a, in a dire incident like this. So Herbert Mesa Sr. says, tip, don't fly. Not, y well, yes, sure. <laughs> in some option. people's perfect mm -hmm. world, but that's not an option mm -hmm. if you do business like this woman did with Wells Fargo and you're having to go to New York mm -hmm. for some sort of marketing uh, I don't know, convention symposium that she right. was at. So another question, again, that came up yesterday. Well, if this was a work trip, mm -hmm. is there some sort of, does the family have a case, workers' comp, or, or something to that effect? Right. We have not heard anything like that yet. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Reggie Cepeda, different people learn in different ways, going back mm -hmm. to the masks. By the look of the age group pictured, I would say 
they tuned out when the flight attendant was just saying early into the instructions, just his opinion. Mm -hmm. So I see different, uh, kind of different ages here. All these two, two seem young, mm -hmm. relatively young, but it's hard to say who pays attention and who doesn't. But, but this is a problem for the airlines. They know yeah. that people tune out. So yeah, they do. some of them, I remember there was a viral video. You know you're, you've done it right when there's a viral video about the safety precautions and procedure done by an airline. It was Air New Zealand. They put out a really funny one with mm -hmm. a couple celebrities, yes. and it was big on the this. internet for a day or two mm -hmm. because they're just trying to break through. So you know people are always break more invested if they're entertained or they realize that this is important. You know the only time I really pay attention is if I'm in the exit row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do all, or how about that one emergency yes. row where you're going to be responsible? When they come over personally and say, do you do accept? You know? Do you yes. accept? Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, let me read this. Yeah. And then I read it and I try to make sure I've I never, at least. I've never heard anyone say, no, I don't accept. And then let's, yeah. let me switch to someone else. Because you automatically go, well, this isn't going to happen to me. Right. I get some extra foot room. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. But should it happen? <laughs> no. that, actually, you bring up a good point. That was the one time mm -hmm. I sat there and felt a very rich responsibility yeah. for not mm -hmm. just to protect I'm myself. Required. But I would have to stay and help people out of mm -hmm. the plane. Like, oh, I'm taking on a, a job here uh -huh. while I'm flying. So that is when I listened. Do you want me to speculate on something crazy for I a second? Love yeah, well, why did. not? Okay, so Walt did this story this morning because it was interest interesting question. Are you safer? Where are you safest on the airplane? Yes. And he actually had percentages and stats to back it up. And he's actually saying the middle row is safer than the aisle or the uh, window row. Okay. And the back of the plane is safer slightly than the middle or the front. So my question is this, knowing that if there's data and you can actually research this and put percentages mm -hmm. to it, sure. is it fair for the airline to charge mm. different prices mm. for the seats? In other words, are you compelled to pay more money? If you're and I don't know if, safe. I don't know if, I mean, I don't think it's, I think it's more, more it's safe. more scaled to comfort rather than safety. Yes. But now that this, in, now that this topic is being mm. talked about by That's everybody and there is actual data and research and a story on where are you safest on the airplane? I mean, is it fair to actually charge people more or less money when their safety's involved? This is something we should think about. We don't know these answers, but so I just want to go there. Want, if you're more safe in an area, those prices should be more expensive because it comes at a cost. Or, or less safety expensive if I'm in a place where I'm more inclined to Correct. be hurt. Right, exactly. <laughs> but and, then, and then when you're clicking that, it's you're, you are accepting the mm -hmm. fact that this is a less oh, and then safe that, place. Oh, that's I, a good point. I, I'm just saying, these are things. Now we should there's all, yeah, I mean, because if, you know, if people have actually researched this, then we know something. And then yeah. if you're going to, I mean, can you imagine if that were the thing? If that were the case, would that, that, would that absolve going forward the airline any responsibility? Well, oh. you know, you know, when you clicked on that, that you oh, were going to be in a seat that was less safe. So <laughs> you're on your own. Exactly. I mean, who knows? But it's just something that stuck out to me this morning as as a question right. without an answer. Right. How now. about the poor woman that almost got sucked out? Like she didn't look like she had a super small frame. No. But I would imagine once it starts pulling you out, and I'm of a smaller size, and I typically put my daughter on the window, mm -hmm. who's five, because I'm like, okay, well, I feel like she'll be less bothersome to the person mm -hmm. right, possibly right. next to us if she's in the window. And uh -huh. all I keep thinking is, if that had gone out, she'd have been she'd have been gone. Because mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. so tiny. Yeah, there's no way I don't think I could have pulled her out in time. Or, or I, I right. Where I always choose window because I'm just captivated by the view. Mm -hmm. oh. So I go, okay, I always want window because I like to, if I'm flying, especially, you know, flying in at nighttime, going to New York City or something, mm -hmm. you want to see the, the lights and the tall buildings. But now the perception of beauty has sort of been, has <laughs> sort of been shaded because now I'm like, oh, imagine a piece of shrapnel coming my way and hitting a window. I know it seems right. dramatic and you're like, Megan, this was a freak accident. This doesn't happen often. This happened. On another happened. Boeing 737 right. back in 2016. That was only two years ago. Exactly. And that's why they're looking. Issue. And the big investigation, the news today, right. is that they're looking at those fan blades, blades for all those types of engines, for all the aircraft. They're going to, you know, put them, put them under a microscope and try and learn more. But to that point, does it change your behavior? I'm going to go out on a limb here. I <laughs> guess, love the limbs that you're going Because when you board on, on Southwest, you know, you have the A group, B group, C group. Yes. And the way that it goes, I'm always later on. Because you never check in 24 exactly, hours exactly. before. Meanwhile, well, he's he's you get on one of these flights. Alarm goes it's off. It's like every aisle. It's like every aisle and windows all right. the way yeah. until the, the back. Middle. So all of a sudden now is all the middle seats. Sorry, we have no more middle seats. You're gonna have to sit by the window. Pick Sorry, which yeah. One you want. I don't think that that's gonna aisle. change in an instant. No, yeah, you can no, get the best people sleep are, by a window. And uh -huh. people are worried. I think in 
because this doesn't happen every day, or at least it hasn't happened every day, this isn't mm -hmm. a common situation, people are most worried uh -huh. about what themselves and comfort level. Right. You know, like, right. where am I most comfortable? If I'm a heavier set person, I don't want to be stuck in between two people. You know, I mostly want the I don't I don't the mm -hmm. aisle, or maybe I want the window, or like you said, if you're a mother with a child, I typically go inside. Baby mm -hmm. goes inside so she can be less distracting. You know, everyone has their reasons mm -hmm. for picking certain lines. Sometimes I like the middle because then mm -hmm. I do feel a little safe. I'm like, oh, I have someone Depends on each side. Depends on who's on either side. Have you ever been smushed oh, in in the middle? Yeah. You're like, oh, and the claustrophobia sets oh, yeah. in, and You're it's like, a real okay. thing. I had a weird moment. I was a single flyer. <laughs> All that was left was the middle seats. They announced multiple times, it's a full flight. You need to grab a seat. So I said, can I sit here? I'm sorry, it's full. I have to sit somewhere. And the dude gave me the Shade? thousand yard stare. I was terrified. Like, really? Really? Like, really? But it's. Would, hey, wouldn't you rather be me? Yeah, I mean, you're some, so yeah, I'm at least being player. trying to so be you nice still about. Sat there? Yeah, but I think he was just—he was really offended oh, that I was going to take the middle seat next to him. But he didn't buy both seats. But then, it, Don't exactly. Don't get Tracy up but on this. Yeah, that's what she some said. casual conversation. He warmed up to you. bought him a drink. Yeah, exactly. Oh goodness. He even let me sleep I've on his shoulder. A drink no, before. it's Stop it. No. I've done that. I've kind of come in really? and I'm like, ooh, sorry, and I'm like, you know, and then when the cart comes around, I'm like, let me buy you a drink. See, that's Have nice. Have you ever though treated the flight attendant to a drink? Not a drink, but to a treat. Oh, so that's nice. I have a cousin who's a flight attendant. Has Never been for about, about it, to be a, honest. over a decade, mm -hmm. and that is the golden trick. So if you bring a bag of, and he always says from Starbucks, the chocolate covered almonds, not cheap. But if you go and grab huh. a bag of those, three or four, and then when you get on the plane, you go, thank you, you have a great day, you hand them out, they will treat you like a god. Oh, really? And they bring you an extra drink. Oftentimes, this is, you know, this is just saying, this is sort of that unwritten mm. rule. Huh. They bring you an extra drink. If you need a, a, you need a certain something, they'll hook you up. It's mm -hmm. just, it's a more comfortable flight, especially if it's a long one. I've noticed oh, I've gotten that, okay. better treatment by how I'm dressed. Oh, really? Really? Oh, yeah. In what way? More. And if I'm slouchy with sweats on, because most people do, we, like, when you're mm -hmm. traveling, you just want to yep. be comfortable. Yoga you're pants, just yeah. one among the masses. Okay? Right. When you are dressed nicer, people mm -hmm. tend to think maybe you're like a flyer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe this is someone who might be more of a managerial type. Maybe mm -hmm. this is someone stature. who may have a little stature. Mm -hmm. And I feel, and I've gotten much better. I've gotten, um, I always get uh, upgraded. The really? nicer I'm dressed. Really? Oh. I've got to try that. Clearly, I have not been dressing. Yeah. My grandma made that point. She was born mm -hmm. in 1932. Mm -hmm. She's someone yeah, who, when you, when you think about air you know, flying, that's mm -hmm. not something, that was a luxury back in mm -hmm. her day, right? And she grew up on a farm, didn't have money. And, and so she, when I come out of a plane, if she's with my mom to pick me up, I remember one time she made a comment like, I have a cheese. She dressed like that. No, <laughs> like, it's a generation. Hair up, no makeup, you know, right? you're flying. Like, this is a comfort zone sort uh -huh. of thing to her. It's a, it's a luxury. So I respect that, but it's interesting. Is that right? Is that wrong? Is that just how it is? I don't I, know. I think that they're probably trying to figure out, okay, mm -hmm. well, maybe maybe you'll give me a great review. I don't know. I just know if mm -hmm. I go up and ask, hey, are you having any upgrades yet? I'm just waiting to see. And if I'm really dressed nicely, I tend to get, you know what, ma'am, hold one second. Mm, I'm going to try that. If I'm nice. slouchy, it's... Actually, we're full. <laughs> that's limited eye contact. And they just I'm, move on. I'm reconsidering the head to toe gray sweatsuit <laughs> that I wear that says Club Ted on it. Club Ted or the, the teddy velour. bear. Yeah. Velour outfit. You should try that. Let me get to some of the comments here. Uh, velour. So, I'm reconsidering. Velour, the juicy. juicy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yvonne Richie says, Really? I only half listen. For me, my faith and fate lie in God's hands. So that's her approach. Mm -hmm. God wants me to listen. Susan, but God wants you to listen. Susan Buckley says she had her seatbelts on. Yes, she did have her seatbelt on. That's yeah. the new information coming out this morning. The woman who was halfway sucked out of the plane, well, her body halfway a, sucked. It's just a lap belt, so right? It, it's it, not like. So it's, then, wouldn't that have saved her, her whole body from going out potentially? Who knows? I mean, if she had her seatbelt on, maybe it was the front half of her body that was out. But just yeah. it was blunt trauma to right. her head that was the cause of death. Um, oh, let's see, so Lenny sad. Patton. Do we know if the lady had a seatbelt on? Yes, yes, we do know that. Ha, Herbert Meza says, senior, safer seat. Wow, the plane is going down. Okay, safer seat. You would probably want a toilet seat. LOL. Mm -hmm. um, Dan, Dan Cooper. <laughs> okay. Maybe there should be an app for putting on an oxygen mask for millennials or those who mm. don't want to pull their face from the cell phone. Little shade thrown at the millennials. Yeah. I don't know if it's just millennials. I think we're just talking about humans in, in general. Do you listen enough? Or do I you know. Mean? If I were frantic, I'd probably look at the person next to me and do, and do whatever they do. Or right. what fits. I don't yeah. know if my I'm nose like, would okay, fit. That must my... be it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Unless I can't breathe and all of a sudden the air gets too thin, then I would adjust it. But well, Gina Ellis says you can't be serious. Who could not figure out an oxygen mask goes over the nose and mouth? Shaking my head. Those mm-hmm. things don't look like they One, go over two, head. three. I see three people here. Um... First of all, so sad to hear this happen, says Sherry Bowers Burroughs. If someone is talking, mm. I listen because maybe there are some smart changes in the regulation. That's and true. I usually travel with children, so listening is also a learning experience. Mm-hmm. Very good point, Sherry. Listen with a child. I can't listen with a child. You're yeah. distracted. I'm so busy trying to get the you. iPad and trying to make sure you got snacks and can you yeah. get your apple juice. Like I didn't hear yeah, any exactly. of that. Dan like, Cooper says driving <laughs> is more dangerous than <laughs> flying. Driving this more dangerous. Is true. Also, it is. Oh yeah, and you want to talk about paying attention? <laughs> it's all about paying attention when driving. I mean, how many yeah. how many times did you, you see people? You how long is how long has that cell phone bill uh, or the law been in place? And everyone's still texting and driving has around. Has found a way to get around. Exactly. It, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Looking around, making sure there are no. This cars. is what I love. This, this is what. Okay, <laughs> let, let me tell you. This is not a difference. This was this is illegal now. Speaker phone. <laughs> like this. Okay, it's not much better. Okay. Or I've seen I've seen recently <laughs> now with these pops. Oh, right. sockets, oh yeah. Like this and driving. Dude. As like both hands are on the wheel. Right. What? People what? will find a way. I'm you know, terrified even with that. my car free, like mine goes <laughs> yeah. through my car. Okay. I'm still not as um I still ha- don't have as much attention as I should. Yeah. Like, even when I'm doing it the proper way, I'm still not. Okay, what about this one? Baseball hat, speakerphone, tuck it into your hat right here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not saying I've done this before. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my but gosh. It works. I have hands on the wheel. Okay, this next topic. Thank you for your insight there. <laughs> it's blue, it's free Bluetooth. Thank you, Rob Carl. No. <laughs> but don't do it. Don't do that. I was do just not. Sure. I think it's probably safer health wise to keep it on the speakerphone. Distraction yeah, exactly. is a distraction. Or the Bluetooth. If you exactly. have that set up in your car.